What's up, what's up, what's up, everyone? It is Jason, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about discounts. We, as DJs, are expected to give discounts for people that are hiring us for different reasons. Now, truth be told, very high level, very direct. I am not a fan. I am not a fan of any discounted services. I'm not a fan of people that give discounts. I'm not a fan of discounting or incentivizing services. And yes, we here at SCE have gone through, you know, different various incentives to help us land opportunities. We've experimented with things. And I found two things out when we've experimented with some type of incentivized offering to help us you know, build someone's calendar or help us book dates that were available, I found two things. First and foremost, we almost have to start competing with ourselves, meaning we almost cheapen our service. We're essentially doing everything that we, our foundation, our core is not about. We are not delivering the value message, which is super important. And if you're not being booked regularly, your value message is probably the thing that's out of whack. And at the same time, we're having to adjust numbers because we didn't deliver the value message and we've lost opportunities. And that is the whole discounted thing. I think when you offer discounts or incentivize offerings to people, you not only cheapen your service, but I believe even more so, you create an opportunity for you to deal with the conversation, which could be awkward at times in the future, and you magnify that. And the reason why I say that is because let's just say you do a wedding for a family and the cousin of the groom gets married in the future. They're gonna come to you and they're gonna talk to that couple, regardless of the experience that you presented, and they're gonna talk to them about what maybe they did or what they didn't do, what they wish they did differently or whatever. And I would, go out on a limb and say, more often than not, these couples are gonna share the fact that they got received some type of discount or some type of incentive from you to book for whatever it was, off peak, this, that, whatever, it doesn't. It doesn't matter when the wedding took place. It doesn't matter a lot of the parameters. The message to the people that are now interested in booking you as a result of what you've done has this almost tarnished thing on, on that conversation. And the tarnished thing is, hey, you need to ask for this discount that I received because they don't convey the fact that it was a Tuesday night and it was the winter when you were totally open. And they just share the fact that they received that discount. Now, that person is gonna come in into your conversation where you're gonna deliver your value message, answer all the questions properly. They've been to an event that you've seen and you're gonna have to spend your precious time now talking through the reason why they're not getting that message. And they're gonna expect that discount message to be applied to their contract, their event, their service, regardless of the time in between the two events, regardless of the parameters, and regardless of all the little things that may have taken place causing you to give that value message. The point being, if you have to offer discounts, I feel like you're giving yourself and even your couples maybe a disservice in some respects. I feel like you are taking from your foundation, your principles, the things that you are so proud of, and you are selling yourself short in a lot of ways. You are going to basically take money out of your pocket for work that you're gonna do, and you're gonna be the one that's dealing with it. If you're someone that has to rely on discounts or incentivized offerings to fill your calendar, there's two things you need to focus on. Either one, adjusting your pricing so it is more in line with what people are interested in paying or what you can get in your market based on your value message. And I keep saying value message. Value message to me is when you meet with someone, you need to convey your value in a way that connects to them. And if you do, the people that are considering you to hire you for their event will find value in what you're bringing to the table and will find the money within their budget to make it happen. And I know people are gonna say, well, in my area, you can't get this, you can't get that. Stop making excuses. DJs make all the excuses in the world to sell themselves short. And I am someone that has spent a lot of time and energy of, of my own trying to inspire people that work within the event industry as DJs to think bigger and not to do that. So point of this whole video, 
try not to offer discounts. Try not to offer incentives to fill your calendar. Try to convey value the right way. And try to connect with people in an authentic way that just makes sense. The minute you start offering discounts, you're gonna open yourselves up to conversations in the future that are not gonna be easy because people are gonna be expecting that. Just think about it. If let's just say there's a wedding group on Facebook and people are active and they're sharing stuff, they're gonna share the fact that they got a discount from you. And then all of those people that could be booking entertainment or looking for people within your category are gonna see that message and those people are now gonna expect it. Now you're gonna have to deal with all of that. And the more discounts and incentives you give out to people, the further this conversation is gonna go for you and your business and you're gonna sell yourself short for the long run. And um, I don't wanna see you do that. I would love to hear from you. Do you offer discounts? Do you offer incentives? What's worked? What hasn't worked for you? I'd love to hear from you. So drop into the comments, share your story, your discounts, your incentives, and the reason why you think it's a good idea for you and for your business. And let's continue the conversation there. Be on the lookout for more content coming right here to this channel in the days, weeks, and months ahead. And uh, thanks for checking this out. We'll see you real soon.